Hey guys, a little while back we made a video at Lowe's where we did a walkthrough of the store looking at some of the Craftsman stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, I mentioned in that video that we had a Craftsman T100 riding mower. They didn't have any at the store to show on video at that time. So I figured I just got done cutting grass, figured I'd just go ahead and do a short little video of, of uh, our mower. <laughs> go ahead and show the T100. Not only the model itself, but the one we have. I have to say it's been a really, really good, reliable mower. Crash on the side, T100 right there. It's been a really, really reliable mower. I forgot to mention in the last video, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> but uh, these actually have a parking brake. You push the pedal all the way forward, and here's how you shift the gears right down here, this little yellow lever. It goes from one to seven. It's got seven gears. And if you actually hold the brake in and push it down below the one, there's a little P down there, you'll notice. That's the parking brake. And what that actually does, that locks the brake pedal down there where it won't move. And the best way to, and um, well, maybe not the best way, but after we put the parking brake in, when we get ready to put it back away after we use it, we usually leave it neutral there's reverse, forward, and neutral here on the side. Little cup holder. Got some tissues in there for the time being. There's um, your throttle. And all the way up is the choke. Right there's the choke. Um, side eject chute. When we got this mower, it didn't have the side eject. It just had the, um, the cover that's raised up there for like a mulching setup. We actually had to get the side eject ourselves. There's the battery under the seat. Made in the USA with global materials. Go ahead and lift the hood here. Also, these headlights, there's no, uh, there's no uh, switch on them like you'd see on like, um, trying to think what the right word would be. Um, there's no actual switch form like you'd see on higher model tractors, on uh, tractors that are higher models. Not actually sure what the right word would be. So wording would be well just other models i guess so um when you start the engine the headlights are always on i apologize also most of these videos are unscripted so sometimes i don't know what the what the right wording would be uh, here's the engine power built brakes 340 cc 11.5 horse i did check the oil before i ran it this morning i always check the oil when i come out there's the gas tank as you can see it's a little below half a tank but on a small yard like ours this this thing is really really easy on gas that's only the second time i've had to put gas back in it the one when we first got it we had it delivered to the house and filled the tank clear up and that was all the way back in june sorry not june but may all the way back in may and um we usually run it three to four times a month and um yeah it's been running constantly without needing any more gas i just had to put a little more back in it last week and uh filled it up to there because it was almost clear empty when i put more gas in it Things real easy on gas on smaller yards like ours. And it cuts really, really good. The only thing I will say about the, the blades, when you disengage them, there's a little bit of wind to them as they, as they slow down to a stop. Walk around to the back here. It says Craftsman on the back. There's a little hitch thing there. And I believe it says it here on the tire. Yep, right there, Turf Saver tires, Turf Saver 2. This one does have the place for a washout port, but um, it didn't have one pre-installed. And to be honest, we probably won't worry about putting one on. I think that pretty much does it. I hope I covered everything. 
if um, there's anything I forgot or anything, or if you have any questions, feel free to um, leave them in the comments section. And I'll try to answer any questions you may have. Um, yeah, it's just been a very, very good, reliable tractor. Haven't had any issues with it at all. We did get the extended warranty just for the peace of mind and knowing that if anything would happen, those will come and pick it up themselves. You don't have to try to figure out how to get it to a service center, especially if you're like, gosh, you don't really have a tra trailer to haul them on and stuff. Lowe's, at least in the um, warranty booklet, it says though, or the, the online documentation we've seen, sorry. The online documentation, it said they would come pick it up and if they couldn't repair it, they would uh, try to replace it or give a refund. Give her, either replace it if they couldn't fix it or give a refund. And then, yeah, it's just that extra little peace of mind. One thing I will add though, if you are thinking about getting one of these or the warranty in specific, uh, one thing we didn't know in the beginning was the warranty only kicks in after the factory warranty ends. So I believe these come with a three year factory warranty. I apologize if I'm wrong. But um, the, st uh, the store warranty from Lowe's won't actually kick in until that warranty ends. And that's an extra two year warranty. Again, if I'm not mistaken, if memory serves me right. Just wanted to add that in for anyone who may not know like we didn't in the beginning. I haven't made any mods to it or anything. Like I've seen online, people were showing how you can disable the safety feature on the seat where you have to be sitting on the seat for it to stay running. Um, I wouldn't do that anyway myself because I'm a little clumsy. Wouldn't just, um, I just figured that the safety feature is there for a reason. Why take a chance and mess with it? But either way, it's fine. Um, it's still stock, like I got it from the store. And um, yeah, I'm just amazed by how reliable it's been. Like I'm a big guy, I'm a, kind of a real big guy. And um, I watch myself when I get on it and stuff. Like I don't wanna break it by accident or anything, but I watch myself when I get on it and stuff and it's been fine. And I'm a bigger guy myself. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I apologize. I don't have any footage of me actually cutting grass. Uh, I didn't think about doing the video uh, till I was till I actually finished cutting the grass. Then it hit me, you know, I should do a follow-up video about our tractor and stuff. Next time I cut grass, I'll make a point of trying to remember and I'll actually get some footage of actually cutting grass on the tractor then and like upload it as a part two video. Thank you guys again for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. These, these videos are on Guillotine Cinema and they'll also be on Eccentric Broadcasting. Uh, and yeah, thank you, bye-bye.